Hello. <laughs> I thought I'd spice it up today, you guys. Okay? <laughs> What's poppin' my little cucumber salads? I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. I just got back from a tournament where I took that spicy dub. That dub! Yay! And I was playing against some pretty good decks today. Like, I didn't have really any game that was just super easy. I was playing Turbo Z, baby, is what I call him. My cute little sword dangle! So cute! <laughs> today is an awesome video that I'm so excited for because guess what, my little goobers? It's mail time! Ooh! A super generous supporter of this channel, Canadian Austin, <laughs> sent me this beautiful box. I say it's beautiful even though he's actually quite dirty. But we have this box. I have no idea what's in it, but I have been warned it's Pokemon related. So we're gonna open this bad boy today and see what's inside. And if it's Pokemon stuff, we're gonna open the Pokemon stuff. So it's gonna be super hype. But wait, before we get into this super spicy box, since I got sent a Pokemon package, I also want to give you guys something to sort of wombo combo some stuff back to all my viewers because I love you and respect you and I miss you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Unikeep is a company that sent me this absolutely adorable Pokédex binder and they wanted me to check it out, see if I liked it, see how it works compared to my other binders that I use. And this one is actually super bomb because it is plastic, as you can kind of hear. ASMR. ASMR boo. <laughs> as soon as I saw this binder, it reminded me of those little Hot Wheels cases that you kept your little Hot Wheels cars in. If you guys know what I'm talking about, just me? Okay. <laughs> But anyway, this binder snaps open, so it's got two little tabbies on the side, boom, and then it holds all of your cards in here. So you can just store all your cards, but the cool part about it is that because it's a hard encased binder, when you close it and you like stack it somewhere or put it in your backpack or whatever, your cards are a lot safer than if they were in um, a binder that's not hard enclosed binder because I have a couple of fabric binders that don't zip up or anything and a lot of times cards will fall out of them or they'll get bent or something crazy will happen and then I just lose all my Pokemon cards in a boating accident. So I actually really dig this binder because I feel like it keeps your cards much safer and they even have a little mini version of it which I actually use for my trade binder so I just toss this in my bag, put all my trade cards in it and then when I go out to tournaments and stuff and people want to trade me I'm like okay here we go let me pop my cute little Pokedex out. <laughs> so Unikeep has these binders for sale on their website, but today we are going to be doing a giveaway for one of these bad boys. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is let me know what your favorite card in your Pokemon collection is below in the comments. That is all you have to do, and then one of you guys will win, and I'll comment on that and be like, hey, you won! And then we can go from there and get you one of these binders. So if you guys need a Pokemon binder for your collections, feel free to comment below. And shabang, shaboom. Also, you guys already know Darkness Ablaze is on the horizon, which means you need a Darkness Ablaze booster box and you could get one and possibly win one for free as well by using code Pokeboo on flipsidegaming.com. If you pre-order anything with them or if you just buy something that's over $10 with them and use code Pokeboo, you'll be entered in to win a free Darkness Ablaze booster box up until the set drops on August 14th. So feel free to use my code on there. It helps the channel bunches and bunches. Flipside is super bomb. I've loved working with them so far. I'll also be doing another giveaway very very soon. What I'm going to be doing uh, pretty regularly on this channel is giving you guys a, a bunch, bunch of, of code, code cards, cards to scan in to the online Pokemon TCG, cash in for packs, open packs, get a bunch of cards to expand your online collection so you can actually build decks and play with them uh, online. So you can learn Pokemon, you can build some meta decks, and we can just get you started playing Pokemon. I just really love that I've seen so many comments on the channel that say like, Boo, you got me into playing TCG? And I'm like, yeah. 
chills. Like it makes me so happy. So if I can help you guys even more with that, it'd be super bomb. If you guys don't know Po Town, I would not be here or be able to do any of that without them. So you can also use code Pokeboo to get 5% off code cards on there if you want to purchase code cards and expand your online collection too. But we will be doing some bomb giveaways in partnership with Po Town as well very soon. So keep on the lookout for that. But for now, Let's get into this big boy box, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. I just busted this box open, tore the tape. Took me a while because I'm absolutely trash at opening boxes, but we got there, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sword and shield, you guys. And they're single packs. So who knows what we're going to pull out of those. They could all be green. They could all be white. It's going to be spicy. Oh my gosh, Austin! The blister pack. I don't think I ever got one of these either because I don't think I have this coin. And I absolutely love collecting the Pokemon coins. So I'm actually so hyped about this. Thank you so much, Austin! There's more. There's more. But wait, there's more. <gasps> oh, Ooh, this is the new ball. Oh my gosh. This is the uh, dust ball? Dust ball? Is it Dusk Ball? I think that's what this one is. Does it say it on here? I don't think so, but I'm pretty sure this is Dusk Ball. Uh, probably one of the ugliest Pokeballs, so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I really don't like the look of this Pokeball, but this is the new one that they just came out with, so it should have some super cool stuff inside it, which I am very excited for. Oh my gosh, you didn't. <gasps> Austin, the Sword Doggo Tin. This is also something I did not open because I was like, I don't need it. But I, I'm so happy right now because I need this card. And when I actually was gonna buy one of these because I needed this card really badly, uh, they were all sold out. So the fact that you just sent me one of these, Austin, is absolutely epic. Plus, this is so cool. The artwork on this tin, I never got one. So I didn't realize how cool it actually was. But this is, this is pretty bomb. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much to open. Austin, the sword and how many sword doggos are we gonna get today? That is the true question. Because you know what? That card is still like $15 for the regular art. Uh, the full art is like $20. And then the secret rare is still like $70 or $80. So if we pull even one of those today, it's going to be absolutely epic. Okay, there's one more thing and it's in a package. And it looks like it's a foreign package. So let's see what this is. <gasps> Stop! Oh my god! It's a Pikachu sweater! <laughs> Yo, what's poppin', players? <laughs> So if it wasn't like a million degrees in here, I would continue wearing this for the rest of the video, Austin, but I am dying inside. So I'm melting alive up here because I have to turn my air conditioning off so it's not loud into the microphone. And I just, I just melt pretty much when I'm filming these videos. So the sacrifice is for the channel, for you guys. <laughs> Dude, why can I not open these? Uh, ah. <laughs> Bro, I have to cut this. I literally have to cut this. I couldn't do it otherwise. There we go. There we go. Boom. All right, so usually these Pokeballs, well, they're really hard to open, number one. Um, usually they come with really old pack. Oh, speaking of which, evolutions, baby. Let's see what's super cute. Oh my. Oh, he's so cute, dude. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. XY Evolutions and two. Oh, no, sorry. That's Crimson Invasion and a Burning Shadow. So never mind. None of these are updated packs. These are all older packs. Let's start with Evolutions. Since we are old today. Oh, right. Here we go. Revive. Here comes Team Rocket. Oh, Magmar. Weedle. Man, it's been a while since I've, old, I, I've opened like a retro old pack. Ooh, fireball energy. I like it. Uh, polywag reverse holo and <gasps> radicate, radicate. We're going into crimson invasion. 
Let's see if we can pull at least one white pack out of one of these. That would be sweet. Metal Energy, Cincino, Zwellius. Dude, I miss these Pokemon. I'm so used to like not opening. Oh, we got a hemorrhoid. <laughs> it's Remoraid. And every time I see him, it's a hemorrhoid. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know what else to say, you guys, okay? <laughs> Manky, reverse holo Gengar. Oh my gosh, why is this card terrifying? I don't think this card could be any creepier. It's a Gengar in a back alleyway at night. And he looks evil. <laughs> it looks like he's about to mug me, dude. <laughs> he's like, oh, you're trying to go home? Trying to take a shortcut? Not today, boo. <laughs> dude. And last but not least, <gasps> Salazzle. Okay, that is that is a hollow. It's kind of hard to tell, but Salazzle holographic. Actually, that's like four Salazzles. So we're on Salazzle Island with that card. Man, I did not open Crimson Invasion. Crimson Invasion it was a set that had already rotated uh, by the time I was like playing Pokemon. So I did not open that set like at all. So that was probably like one of the very, very few times I've opened a Crimson Invasion pack. This is Burning Shadows, of course. So we do have the possibility, wow, that's a cute hoot hoot, oh my god, to pull um, the, the Zard. The beautiful Zard, but I totally doubt it because I have the worst luck. Reverse Hollow Dark Cry and <laughs> Toxic Rock. Another disease looking frog, bro. Dude, why does Pokemon like those so much? I don't know. So we did get a white pack out of that ball, but it was just a holographic rare. So <laughs> we're going to get into these singles. Single Sword and Shield. So Sword and Shield is kind of the set to be opening right now because uh, Sword and Shield is actually technically better cost-wise. Like you can flip the packs or the booster box more than you can do Rebel Clash right now. And that is because of the Sword Dago and because of Professor's research, two insane cards to be in this set. So we could pull something super bomb right here or we could just, you know, whack attack. Whack attack. Grookey, <laughs> cute font, Jinju, Corvusire. Oh my gosh, that, oh, I totally thought that dude was a rare, but he's not a rare. Uh, reverse Hollow, Corvusire, Squire, sorry, and <gasps> Tapu Koko! Yes! That is bomb. So our first single, and we pulled Tapu Koko V, which is a super awesome V card. All right, let's see if Austin picks some good single packs. Uh, some more white code single packs. Let's see. Man, we're pulling a lot of metal energies. That's like our, our fourth metal energy, I think. That's kind of crazy. Pin Curtain, Little Picks, Naked Got a Ticket, Ball Toy, Jolted Reverse Hollow, and <gasps> Mudstale. 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 <laughs> Going into our next one, we got a switch, a Ferrothorn. Honestly, the the trainers are just so much better in Sword and Shield base set too. The Metal Saucer, the switches, they're oh, it's a good set. It's such a good set. Gossip Flower, Reverse Hollow, and <gasps> oh, Rillaboom, Rillaboom, and it's not even the good one. There's a better Rillaboom, the Voltage Beat one, but that is not him. And non holographic as well, so. Our last single pack, this will tell us if fist bump energy, if singles are worth it. Oh yeah, Pokegear 3.0 is one of those trainers as well. Super worth. Joltik, Silicobra, Blibbuck, <laughs> Sizzlypeed, Sizzlin' Bacon Boy, Reverse Hollow, and <gasps> oh, super cute artwork, but trash card, Lapras, non-holographic. Look at that, four energies. Four energies for a 70 attack. Yeah, what? <laughs> All right, we're heading into this blister pack with a super bent promo card per usual, uh, according to Pokemon. <laughs> Galarian Ponyta, absolutely adorable, very beautiful hollow artwork, even though 
it's trash as a card, but that's okay, because it's super cute. And we also got Garchomp, my boy. The Garchomp coin just makes me think of my waifu, Cynthia. So now we got two gold coins. I love it. I love those bad boys. We're heading into this blister pack, one Tapu Koko deep, and I actually have pretty good feeling about this. I usually pull pretty, pretty well out of blister packs, but honestly, saying that now, it's probably gonna be trash, so disregard. Oh, and I almost just dropped all the cards. All right, cool, sweet. I'm super good at this. <laughs> Eyeball energy, pal pad, citrus berry, zigzagoon, gossip flower, cauliflower, yappy boy, so cute, crabby, oh my god, the artwork on that crabby, so cute, reverse hollow cinderace, that is a reverse hollow rare, so that's a pull for us, and <gasps> sandaconda non holographic, so we didn't get a hollow, but we did get a reverse hollow rare, which is almost better than a regular hollow rare, I guess. Uh, so I guess that's still technically a white pack. Maybe. <laughs> Next up, here we go. Come on, Sword and Shield, you can do it. Hitmonchan, Galarian, Lenoon, Sea King Army, holla. So hype. Score Bunny, Silicobra, Yamper, Grookey, Cufant, Mincino, Reverse Hollow, and... <gasps> Oh, non-holographic Galarian Rapidash. So it does go with our ponytail, but it wasn't hollow, so. Ripperoni and cheese. Kind of nervous about this, not gonna lie, because uh, it hasn't been super crazy so far. Goldeen, Rosalia, Joltek, Silicobra, Blitbug, Blitbug, Reverse Hollow Ponyard, and I'm gonna close my eyes. Oh, Toxic Croak. So we pulled the retro one. Now we're pulling the modern one, but he's still equally as creepy looking. So, but he is a hollow. So there we go. <laughs> man, oh man, we are striking out just a little bit so far, but that's okay. Cause that was like, that was a blister and what, four? I think it was four single packs. So, and those are always a toss up. You could get greens, you could get whites, you could pull the most expensive card, you could pull trash. You never know with single packs. With blisters, you kind of have a better chance, but obviously the luck was not on our side there. But now, here we go. Promo card, one I do not have yet because I never got this tin, but now I get him, he's so cute. And then five packs. We're gonna have some retro packs in here as well. So we have one Rebel Clash, still looking for that Rainbow Bosses order. Uh, no, sorry, two Rebel Clash, so we have a chance. One Sword and Shield. That's so kind of... Oh, I guess these were Rebel Clash tins, huh? I was thinking they were Sword and Shield, but they were Rebel Clash tins. So two Rebel Clash, one Sword and Shield, one Burning Shadows could pull that Charizard, and XY Evolutions, probably just gonna pull a Weedle. Let's be real. <laughs> Starting with our Evolutions, this one's three to the front, I think. Okay, Metapod, equally... As bad as the Weedle, uh, Ponyta, Dodo, Staryu, Seal, Reverse Hollow Pikachu. Okay, I like that. I like that. And <gasps> oh, Arcanine non holographic. So we did get a cute little Reverse Hollow Pikachu. So that's kind of worth one Burning Shadows pack. Let's see if we can pull something spicy. I don't know what it is. Like every time I've only really opened Burning Shadows, like one ofs. Uh, just because, like, again, it's an old set that I never really had because it was out of rotation. So I really haven't opened a ton of this. Wow, that's a really interesting uh, Charmeleon artwork. Interesting. Reverse Hollow Charmeleon and... <gasps> oh my god! A Secret Rare Fire Energy! Dude, is this card still like $20? Bro... We just pulled a secret rare fire energy out of a single burning shadows pack. I don't know why, because I never sleeve my cards when I open them. Like I, I could pull a secret rare out of any any pack, and I'm just like, cool. And I don't put it in a sleeve until after the video, then I sleeve it up. But for some reason, like I really want to sleeve this card, and I don't know why. I think it's just because I don't think I've ever pulled a secret rare energy. I honestly don't. I don't think this is the first time I've ever pulled a secret rare energy. Dude, that is so hype. That is so hype. When people want to bling out their decks, 
this is what costs them if they want to max rarity out a deck because this is so expensive times 10 or 12 energies that you have in a, in a deck it's absolutely bananas so that is so sick a single burning shadows all right rebel clash still looking fist bump energy for that super spicy boss's order we have not pulled the full art or the secret rare rainbow of it so still looking for that clefairy reverse hollow luxray rare baby that's what's up and <gasps> seismator yo i don't know what what's happening this this and toxicroak are essentially the same pokemon they're pretty much bros they look almost identical <laughs> they're slightly different shades of color but that's about it <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know why I keep pulling this thing. He's nightmare fuel. I don't like him, but we did get a reverse holo rare, so that's spicy. This is gonna be a white pack. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Come on, baby. If I'm wrong about this, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I'm gonna be real upset. Lombre, not too. Drabby boy, Pidaf. Helioptile, Voltorb, <laughs> Clefairy, reverse holo. Oh, it's a white pack. What am I saying? <laughs> All right, I added the Sword Doggo promo to our polls, even though we didn't pull it. It's obviously just a promo, but maybe we'll pull another Sword Doggo in this cute little Sword Doggo box. Ooh. <laughs> We're just gonna do it top to bottom here with these packs. Come on, baby. We have eight chances to pull. The sword Dago. So that's what I'm looking for. Or Professor Research. That'd be sick. Connie Score Bunny. Silicobra. Team Yelgrum Reverse Hollow. Yo, that's what's up. And <gasps> Durant Durant. I don't know what it is about Sword and Shield packs, but they're so much more loose for some reason. It's like wherever they were printed, just printed them super loose packs. Super whack. Zigzagoon. Goss of Flower. Call of Flower. Silicobra. <gasps> Dude, another one, another one. Reverse holo, lucky egg trainer, and <gasps> grandpa, grandpa. No, non holographic for that one, but still reverse holo trainer, so still kind of a win. I mean, as long as you're hitting a hollow, like I don't know, something that's good in a reverse holo air balloon Vulpix, like it's kind of still a win in my eyes. So I always love pulling reverse holo trainers or reverse holo rares. Uh, like this, dude! Heck yeah! Baby reverse hollow bear, Cremoran Turkey Boy, and <gasps> Sent a Scorch non holographic. But we still got a reverse hollow rare. So, still, technically, in my eyeballs, this is still three white packs. Okay, okay, semantics. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get an actual white pack. Come on, baby. Eat more. There's a little ordinary rod. I almost said or ordinary wad. Okay. <laughs> right horn. Rosalia. Reverse hollow silicobra. And <gasps> stone journer. No. No. All right, guys. Now I'm kind of scared. We only have four packs left. So I'm actually kind of scared now. All right, guys. We only have four packs left. So um, things aren't looking too good. I'm actually a bit scared now. Potion. Krabby, Grookey, my brain, hoot hoot, Pincurchin, Reverse Holo Krabby Boy, and... <gasps> oh my gosh! Alright, it is our first white pack, but it's pretty trash. So, Holographic, Sandaconda. Oh my gosh! We have opened everything Austin has sent us. And still no Sword Doggo, so that's kind of a bummer. At least we got one as a promo, so like, even if we didn't pull one, Fist Bump Energy, my broskies. Even if we didn't pull one, we still got one, so I'm happy about that. Sinistee, Maractus, Pikachu, Galarian, Meowth, Sizzlypede, Reverse Hollow, Durant, and... Darko! My turtle bro! Dude, I never pulled this guy. When I opened Sword and Shield packs, I never pulled Torkoal. Like, I don't know what it was. Maybe I pulled him, like, one time. But my little fire turtle is so cute. And I'm so happy we finally pulled him. Torkoal V. I saw this post, and now every time I see this card, because he's a turtle, I think about this turtle that, like, wears clothes. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> All right, two packs left. Two of these packs have been white. 
codes and only one of them was an actual good pack. So not too hype about this box anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. At least we pulled our turtle bro. Reverse Hello Quillfish and... Oh my god, again? Okay, and that is it. We are down to our very last pack. All right, you guys, we just have to trust Yu-Gi-Oh, Heart of the Cards, <laughs> Vitality Band, Rabut, Suruwuru, Clabobus, Wulu. Okay, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. We're getting some really cute Pokemon. Butt cheeks. <laughs> Blip, Bug, Reverse Hollow Sabo. <gasps> Or beetle. <laughs> All right, my goobs. So we did not pull. Wow, I am so shocked. That many sword and shield packs, and we didn't pull a sword doggo. I really wasn't expecting this many things to open, so I had a blast opening this with you guys and adding all this awesome stuff to my collection. So thank you so, so much, Austin. Everybody throw tons of thank yous in the comments to Austin for helping me out with creating this video and giving content to you guys as well. I hope you enjoyed this opening. Yay! Virtual hugs to you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around for this video. I had a blast opening this. Austin, thank you for this package. Thank you so much as well to all my Patreon peeps out there. You guys keep this channel going and running like a smooth, oiled, oiled train. <laughs> I honestly don't know where I was going with that. Also, if anyone wants to send anything to my P.O. Box, it is down in the description, the address for it. I love getting hello letters from you guys. It makes my day so much better, so thank you so much for that. Uh, I don't open all of the packages on my channel, but if you send me something that's really cool and you want me to open it, you can just reach out to me somehow, like on Twitter or uh, DMs on Instagram or something, and I will try to get back to you. I get like a billion messages, but sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. But I'm sure there's some way you can get a hold of me here if you leave a comment or DMs or whatever. So slide into those DMs, bro. <laughs> All right, goobs. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, 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 bye.